Hey everyone, um, let's see if I can open this. Well, it's now January the 20th. Alright, let's uh, try to put this on the. Um, Alright, so um, I thought I would do this thing where um, I um, rewatch some of my old videos and sort of comment as I go because um, I've seen other people have sort of done it um, occasionally like some people have been making like um, reaction videos and stuff so I I figured it might be a fun thing to do because um, I mean I might have some uh, you know background uh, information or stuff to um, uh, to add obviously since I'm like the guy in the videos so um, <laughs> <laughs> also, I'm uh, drinking a cup of uh, Cuban rum, having a club Cuban rum because I've actually um, I uh, I tried doing this earlier today, um, like recording myself watching the video, but I, I had to stop very quickly because I was uh, <laughs> oh my god, it's 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 um it's difficult for me to rewatch my old videos I almost never do like very 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 rarely I very rarely rewatch my old videos uh, because it's so difficult for me to like hear my own voice and and sort of see myself and it's um, anyway so uh, let's give it another shot and um, also um, one thing is um, yeah uh, one thing I want to say about this particular video and it's sort of gonna be relevant is that um, um, okay? So it's the omelet for Obama video that was made in uh, January two thousand nine, uh, and so the video was um, was filmed on January twentieth two thousand nine, so the day of the uh, inauguration of uh, Obama. Uh, but it was actually posted uh, sometime later. I think it was posted on January thirtieth, or at least a week or or ten days later. Um, and uh i when like well, we're going to talk about this later but uh uh anyway so that's one video that um uh, often you know is talked about and so i thought i'd start with this one and uh all right uh, just the last bit of uh rum i can work up the courage and uh let's get going uh, also the audio might be a little awkward because I'm speaking on a microphone and um, so the microphone is going to pick up my voice as well as the audio from the video and it's it might be a little strange at some points because I'm sort of I might be talking over myself and it might be hard at some point to tell which is like the m m modern day me and which is the me in the video but anyway let's start well it's now January the 20th of 2009, and uh, you can hear CNN on the background. Yeah. Uh, today is the coronation of uh, the new American president, uh, uh, which is kind of weird. It's like Mussolini giving his place to Stalin or something. But <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Remember, um, like uh, those who are a little bit older, who were adults during the the Bush years. Um, I mean, George Bush was. Uh, you know, by 2009, people had enough of him. It, it, like all the constant wars and and Iraq, and I mean, the people sort of rallied around him after 9/11. But very quickly, when he started with Saddam, and um, yeah, the people had enough. Uh, there was uh, all these conspiracy theories, which turned out to be accurate, of of like lying about Saddam having weapons and. And they basically destroyed the whole country just to to get the oil, and it was it was awful. It was an awful time. And uh, if you remember, in 2004, everyone thought that John Kerry was going to win the election, and he was actually leading. And at the end, uh, last minute, just by magic, um, you know, there's a Bin Laden video threatening new attacks in America, and just like that. George Bush got the advantage and got reelected. It's funny how all these things always happen. You know, just last minute something happens that makes the, the incumbent president look bad. Uh, I mean, you know, like 
I can say a lot of stuff about the <laughs> the Iran hostage crisis and and how Ron Reagan was involved in that. And anyway, let's 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 pass. But yeah, so there was a lot of talk in those days of George Bush being a fascist because of all the wars and bloodshed, and Obama's opponents were calling him a communist. So anyway, let's let's uh, let's keep going. Anyway. Uh, you know, they talk about it, and all the newspapers had this in the subway this morning, the Metro newspaper. Thank oh God, I missed the Metro newspaper. I don't think the, the subway often anymore, but, uh, yeah, that's a blast from the past. You know, when you, uh, uh, taking the... You know, the funny thing about the, the newspapers is the ad section. Uh, if I remember right, there, there was, like, uh... There was an ad section about like missed encounters, and it's like, oh, uh, to the 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 lady with the the red dress that was at Tim Hortons on on that day at that hour. If you see this, please anyway. Or the ads for the the psychics, you know, like uh, ancient African psychic uses uh, ancestral methods to put you back together with your ex and and solve uh, erectile problems and money problems. Uh, uh, oh, it's, it's, anyway, yeah, it's, it's funny. Subway, you know, people take the, the newspapers and, you know, they don't uh, really read it, but uh, this morning everybody was reading this. Anyway, uh, so let's celebrate uh, the coming of the communist dictatorship by making a nominate. All right, um, I want to give some background information that I don't think I ever mentioned uh, you know, it's it's funny because um, uh, sometimes, uh, you know, um, like recently, I was uh, like um, on the uh, uh, the other channel, the Cooking with Hoarders channel. They were doing like live streams, and at some point, I, I was I joined the, the chat on time, and um, like uh, someone was saying something like, "Oh, remember you mentioned this thing or that thing in a video," and I'm like. Oh my God! I talked about that, really. <laughs> like, I, I, so, so, so I, I mean, I don't remember the things I said in my videos, and sometimes it's like, oh my God! I can't believe I actually talked about that. That's actually one of the reasons that it's so hard for me to rewatch because I, I uh, sometimes I get a curveball. I'm like, oh my God! I can't believe I talked about that. But one thing I don't think I ever talked about is um, uh, in January 2009, actually. Starting from mid-January, I think on the 15th or 14th or something, um, but around mid-January, I started working out at the gym, and I hadn't worked out in, at the gym for a long time, I think not since like 1998 or 99, or like early 2000 or something, and um, it's funny because it was a gym that was uh, known to be a Hells Angels hangout, which by 2009, uh, they weren't really there anymore, but anyway, so... Uh, one of the things that um, my trainer told me at the gym is not just like how to lift weights, but also uh, a part of, of the, the thing at the gym was um, uh, nutrition. Like they, they were telling me like uh, some food to eat and it was all about like high protein stuff, you know, like lean meats and, and Greek yogurt and things like that. And then one of the things that they told me to do was uh, this omelette every morning with uh, a full egg and two or three egg whites. And, um, yeah, so that's, uh, this was one of the first, uh, actually, this was the first week that I actually started uh, doing the, this uh, omelette uh, every morning. Uh, I have, well, first you need a pot to, uh, to cook the omelette. We're going to take this one, which I've been cleaning. Mm. Apparently it was a mistake to put the oil in the fridge. That's one thing that I, I, I heard about later. Um, someone told me that the reason why there's this huge fire at the end is actually because the oil was was in the fridge. And I didn't know that back then, but anyway. We need a pot to whisk and eggs. Oh, it's funny, I still have that same pot, exactly the same. I still have it and uh, I couldn't believe it when I rewatched part of this video this morning. I'm like, oh my god, I still have that same pot. One full egg and then two egg whites. Because uh, an egg white is um, 
a very uh, low calorie source of protein. So. Yeah, so now I'm just reciting like word by word what my trainer at the gym told me. Um, and he used to be a Canadian bodybuilding champion, so I'm not going to take him at, at his word. But um, yeah, low calorie source of protein, so that's why you put uh, egg whites in, in your omelet. Oh, it's really healthy stuff. Uh, mm. Kind of surreal with the music in the background. Okay, it's clear enough. Um, eggs. Need to buy new ones. Okay, so let's uh, preheat the little pot here, but we first need to. I had no idea how to make an omelet. I mean, I'm using like this pot instead of a skillet. Oh my god. It's amazing how much I learned uh, since then. I'll try to make a little bit so there's uh, still some little drops of water in there so we're going to have to remove this. Uh, you know, cooking a, an omelet is the same as cooking a, a steak. You know, you, you need some, uh, a little bit of oil. I use olive oil, you see? So you put olive oil. How do you even pronounce this? I mean, olive, olive, in French it's a uh, olive, no, well, it's, well in, in olive, yeah, wait a minute, I'm not even sure anymore, but um, how do you, olive, olive, huh, anyway, forget about it, I didn't say anything. Oh, uh, in the pot. It's olive in French, olive, 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 yeah, my god. It's the alcohol, never mind. Got my own band. John Williams, the guy who made Jurassic Park and uh, 2002 Winter Olympics. They're making this whole ceremony at the. You know, it's in the same place that 200 years from now, you know, it's going to be overcame with, you know, ghouls and super mutants and everything. It's funny. I mean, I guess I was playing Fallout 3 and, and Oblivion back then, but... Uh, was it really that long ago? Gee. I thought I was playing Fallout 3 more recently than that, but anyway. And people shooting around and stuff, but they don't know it yet. Alright, so... First, we need oh yeah, one, uh, egg. one little thing I just want to point out. Um, sorry, I keep pausing this. All right, look at the bottom of the screen. Uh, there's this little uh, long black thing, um, and I I, I watched um, like uh, a video that was some people like streaming uh, uh, like this video and like um, and I heard. Um, uh, people saying that uh, oh my god there's like worms on, on the stove and insects and everything so what that thing actually is it's um, a piece of all brand cereals um, uh, I, I don't know if you have it in the states the all brand is like um, uh, this like very fibery cereal and it's uh, it comes in, in the flakes but it also comes in like with these little sticks like that and um, in some videos, you you like you, you might see that there's a whole bunch of boxes of Albran uh, on top of the stove, and um, uh, this is one of the stuff that they told me to eat at, at the gym. So that's why I had all these Albran. Um, you you'll, you're never going to see a box of Albran in the the videos made in 2008. Uh, it's only in the 2009 videos that you're going to see them, and, and later, I guess. Uh, but yeah, so that's a piece of all brand because I would mix it in yogurt in the evening and uh, I guess I would Sometimes do the mixture over the the stove and yeah, so that's a piece of all brand. It's not like a worm or anything what? I mean, I know I'm disgusting, but not that disgusting. Come on uh, egg, uh, full egg. Wait a minute. Um, Oh boy yeah, it's really tough to do some one hand, so I'm gonna put the camera in my mouth and obviously back then I was using one of those old um, 
cameras like camcorders uh, and there was this little stick thingy that would you would like put your eye in and um, like look through it like a little telescope that would show you like a black and white version of what you're filming and uh, so that's what I was putting in my mouth and obviously these days uh, if I film on a cell phone you can't actually like I can't put my cell phone in my mouth I'm not like a, a monkey or anything anyway oh that's that <laughs> Okay, so I got one full egg. Now I need two egg whites. Um. Yep. And here comes the. I don't even know what to say. Um. I, okay, so here's what happened. Um, believe it or not, I didn't know what egg, egg whites were. Um, and I think this is something I might have talked about in later videos. I don't remember like in how many details I went. But, um, you know, I, I've been living on my own since I was like 15. And um, that's a very young age to, to, to live by yourself. And I already had parents who didn't really teach me anything. I mean, I, I, never, I was never taught as a kid to basic things like brush my teeth every morning or, or make your bed or probably other things that I'm even forgetting to mention. But um, I was really not taught anything. And... When, when my mom would make me uh, boiled eggs, you know, like hard-boiled eggs, I, I had no idea that she was removing the shell. I would see her, like, just put the eggs in, uh, in a pot and boiling it, and um, next thing I know, it's on my plate and it's all soft. So my, my child's brain, uh, as a child, I, I thought, well, the egg just softened, the, the shell just softened, and... All the way up to 2009, I had never seen any information that um, would contradict this. Apparently, it's something that's so obvious to people that it's not something that's ever really mentioned explicitly. And so, my first week uh, at, since I started working out at the gym, I was eating these crunchy omelets with. Um, like the the eggshells that I was actually swallowing and biting into and I was getting really frustrated because I couldn't figure out how to whisk them because I sort of knew it, it wasn't supposed to be like that um, and uh, so a few days after making this video I went to the grocery and I remember I saw I think it was like some kind of a spoon or something uh, and it said on the box that it's something to separate the egg whites and it was like a spoon with little holes on the side and, and I think part of my brain was like, uh-oh, what the hell? Like, and that's when I started doubting, what the hell is an egg white? Because I had been like frustrated for the whole week trying to figure it out, how, try, how to do it and everything. And um, so I got home and I googled egg white. And I saw a picture of the little gooey liquid. And, and uh, so that's what happened. So this was... Uh, a few days later, I think maybe two days later or something, and uh, again, I hadn't posted the video until I think it was January 30th, um, but there there was uh, at least a week between the time I made the video and the time I posted it, and I figured out what egg whites were sort of between the two, between the time I made it and between the time I posted it, and uh, frankly, I almost didn't post it, but uh, I went ahead with it, and I yeah I was scared to read the comments but it's just it's funny to me how some things that just seem so obvious to people were uh, anyway let's 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 move on to uh yep that's how I did it so uh, in order to whisk the egg whites it's important that you have some uh, air, you know, that the air has to get in in order to really whisk them well. Uh, you can use uh, this thing. Uh, it's best if you clean uh, the pot really well. Yeah, that's one thing. Uh, during that week, I told my mom and my sister, like, how do you mix, how, how do you whisk egg whites? I'm trying to do it and I can't figure it out. And they sort of explained it to me without showing me, and 
yep it's like oh well you know I think what they thought that I meant when I said I'm trying to whisk egg whites and I can't do it uh, they probably thought uh, actually I'm pretty sure they thought that I meant that I want to make this cream um, because when you actually whisk egg whites it makes kind of like a cream and they thought I was trying to make that cream and I couldn't and I wasn't able to make the cream and so the advice that they were giving me that I'm sort of repeating in the video was how to whisk the egg whites to make that cream uh, they didn't know that I was trying to make the oh my god anyway yep uh, this is embarrassing but all right let's go or uh, whisking the egg whites right I also the cup line because uh, you gotta take up all the protein you know uh, if you know the uh, egg gel or even uh, you know has a, a little bit of you know if it touches uh, the egg white just a little bit you're not going to be able to whisk so this is uh, word by word what I remember my mom telling me at the time that maybe the reason I wasn't able to whisk the egg whites properly was that there was some of the yellow or the yolk that was still inside and I guess she was right but I yeah so like I'm just repeating what I was told and I guess trying to sound intelligent was uh, oh my god uh, yep, so uh, you gotta clean it up. Oh well, yeah, you can uh, preheat uh, the oven, uh, not the oven, the uh, pot. Wait a minute. Yeah, that was a bit of a mistake. Uh, this here. So we're gonna use this to whisk the egg whites. Oh my god, I didn't notice that. Here, um, you see that little thing, that orange box at the bottom of the screen? That's actually a box of vinyl tiles. You know, the, uh, you say vinyl or vinyl, whatever. Like these little, like, glue on tiles for the floor. And it's those blue tiles that you see sometimes in, in my videos. And I still have, like, two or three boxes of those that that have been in my garage for a million years but yeah it's that box of tiles I think I was I started redoing my floor and then never really got around to, to do the whole thing anyway so that's a box of tiles you always need to mix a little bit of water no I haven't been able to do it properly yet I was so frustrated I had been trying all week but yeah Thing you need a lot of practice in order to do it properly but <sighs> I read up, you know, the technique and all. So first you need to clean a little... Like, believe it or not, uh, and I know some people think I'm just, like, trolling, but uh, I, I'm... It's for real. I, I was really frustrated. Thanks here, because uh, there's still some, some of the really weird, like, gooey stuff in there. So you, you have to take it away completely. Or else it's not going to come right, you know? So they have to be really free of uh, all the, the gooey stuff. Huh. Okay. Uh, you know, this this feels like, you know that scene in Dumb and Dumber when they're like driving for, I don't remember, like hundreds of miles in the wrong direction? You know, it's like this feeling when you're making a huge, gigantic amount of effort for something that's impossible. Uh, I'll do this. Oh, yeah. Make sure you really, like, put your finger in and, and kind of move it a little bit like this. That sounds like sexual advice, almost. It takes away all the rules. Uh, the, the hard part of, of the egg whites is supposed to be... Mm. 
Oh boy. All right, let's go to part two. I'm a softer. All right, let me just um, stretch this. All right. I'm a softer. So it, it's huh. I still have those pliers on the right. It's funny, I mean, I didn't realize I had them for so long, and um, yeah. Uh, I mean, I was using them just the other day, like uh, in my work, and uh, gee, I can't believe it. it's still the same ones. Picked up because it doesn't always work. Uh, okay, so I need this little machine that I have. Uh, the uh, egg white whisker. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the old back in the fridge. Okay, uh, I have this little machine here. Alright, um, I, I don't remember exactly, but if my memory is correct, um, and I'm pretty sure it is, but anyway, um, I, I think I remember, uh, because I was just getting desperate, and I, and I remember telling my mom, I just can't do it, it's too difficult, it's too difficult, and she really thought I was trying to make that cream, I, I mean, and um, so one of the things that she gave me that little thingy that uh, she used to, to, to whisk the egg whites and um, yeah and <sighs> yep in the meantime uh, the stuff is eating I think if you watch uh, there's a video I posted about two months after that I think it's called the uh, worst morning ever and uh, you can see me in that video making uh, this uh, sort of like actually whisking the egg whites and making that cream that anyway yeah so when we put the, the, the omelette it's going to be ready oh, yeah. so we're going to have to whisk uh, I can't believe I spent the whole week eating crunchy egg white omelettes uh, could have injured myself, you know. She is made to whisk uh, the egg whites, okay? I did that for a whole week. Yeah, it's funny. Um, you know, I, I, like, I, I only had one appointment w with my trainer at the gym back then because it was like. Uh, an appointment every two weeks and of course by the second week I had figured out what an egg white was and so I spent one week eating those crunchy eggshell om omelettes and the second week eating actual omelettes with egg whites and um, uh, I remember I, I never told him about this because yeah so I but I told my sister you know I, I wanted to make my egg whites and I was actually using the shells and her reaction was like never tell anybody never tell anybody like she was like horrified like never tell anybody never tell anybody and um, I guess the whole world knows but anyway yeah I mean I went through the entirety of law school without knowing what an egg white was. So, anyway. And one person I did tell was my doctor. I, I told him, because um, I was kind of panicked about it, I hope I didn't poison myself, you know. And I, I probably could have cut myself really badly, you know. Uh, because it's sharp. When I told my doctor, he basically just shrugged and laughed about it and said, oh well, at least he got calcium, so he didn't seem too bothered by it, but anyway. You can see all the anger and frustration as I'm whisking them. You see, 
uh, what, what's supposed to happen, you see the, the, uh, the hard part of the egg white, okay? It, it's supposed to become like soft, you see? So you have this little, see this part? It's, it's soft, it, it became soft because... Oh my god, I, re I, I, I really thought that. Not the whole thing becomes soft, it's only like some parts of it that, you know, it's supposed to, the whole thing is supposed to become, you know, soft. You see, you got a little bit of soft here and then, but there's a hard part is still attached. So you gotta do it better. I'm not sure exactly how to do it. I heard that if you put some lemon, you know, around, it's going to... Yep, another thing my mom told me, put lemon around the thing if it doesn't work. And she thought I was failing to make that cream. No. Oh my god. To like acidify the stuff. But ideally it, it should become like a cream or something, you know? So, alright, let's put this stuff back in. <sighs> alright. Uh, so we can uh, prepare the mixture while the stuff is too so much smoke. Oh my god, here it comes. Um, Wait a minute, I'm gonna put this stuff back here. Okay. Alright. Oh, I need a spoon to, uh. Whoa, what the fuck? Like, I remember that moment very well. Uh, I was absolutely terrified. I was terrified, just, I, I, I was completely panicked, completely, oh, it, it was, yeah. Holy shit, what in the world is this, oh wait a minute. So now I'm putting it on the floor because uh, I figured the floor is safe because while it's on the floor it can't fall anywhere. And at that moment, uh, I made the decision in that split second, okay, I'm going to take it outside and throw it in the snow. Because I was really scared This I'm starting a fire, you know. Uh, I'm going to burn down the whole place. And so that's, so at that very second, my thought process is, I'm going to throw it in the snow. Wait, I'm going to shut the TV out. And so why, that's one thing. I, I read comments that like, why shut the TV off it, I, I realize it's sort of a really stupid thing to do when your whole place is about to burn down but um, my thought process at that very moment was it, it, at the same time it's kind of a reflex because I never opened the door with the TV on but also I mean I had some neighbors who didn't really like Obama or liberals and um, you know, they were sort of, uh, they're pretty racist people actually, they're not there anymore, but anyway, um, I, I didn't want to risk my neighbors knowing that I was watching the Obama inauguration, which is a really dumb thing to worry about when, um, when the whole place is about to burn down, but in my panic thought process, like, I need to open the door, and it just, like, autopilot kicked in, and I always turn the TV off before opening the door um, it just one thing I always did and anyway so that's that was just a panic autopilot uh, setting in what in the world? so now I'm dragging it because I don't want to pick it up because you know I don't want to, to the, uh, the, the oil to fall while I'm picking it up and set everything on fire so I'm dragging it holy shit so now it's like okay, I, I'm like how do I put it outside? The door is locked, so I unlock the door and open it slightly first, so that I don't have to carry it in my head and open the door at the same time. Of course, I don't open it fully, which anyway. And here is the moment that's actually dangerous. So you see that. You see like two white lines? What this is, that's actually an electric heater, uh, like a, a space heater. And 
here I actually like this thing is about three inches across and I actually bounced the pot on it and that that was dangerous I really like I wasn't thinking but that part was dangerous because it was not it was really dangerous to balance uh, the pot on that thing so at that point there was really a real danger uh, I don't know why I put it on that thing I, I just realized later but uh, that was really really dangerous open the door and <laughs> you can see my stationary bike at, at the top um, I wasn't really using it and now I grab it I remember it's that moment is really burned in my memory sorry for the pun didn't make that on purpose anyway uh, what I remember is um, my throat was hurting terribly like my throat was burned from the smoke it was it, it was horrible like it was really really painful and I think it lasted for like an hour or 30 minutes I don't remember but my throat was really hurting uh, from inhaling all that smoke and um, it's imagine I mean all of that just because of a, a pot that caught on fire like can you even imagine the amount of smoke that you're 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 inhaling if you're actually in a burning building or like a house that's burning down like like if just a pot burning could like cause like this kind of throat pain and just like this like my throat was burning it was it was really bad it was really bad and uh, I was like still scared I think uh, my voice was shaking at that point I was really like just still kind of traumatized oh man I fucking burnt my finger oh man <laughs> the burnt finger wasn't that bad I still had a little bit of a scar but that was not nothing compared to the, th the throat burning ah oh, what the fuck just happened oh shit Um, I'm not sure. Well, fuck, this pot is ruined. I need a new one. Uh, okay, we're gonna... Oh, shit. Oh. I don't think I ever used that pot again. I think it was ruined after that. I, I mean, I, I think I tried cleaning it, but, yeah. Huh. That's a... Uh, that box, like the metal, I don't know if you can see it, there's like a round metal thing that I'm grabbing, That it's a red metal box, and video quality is low, but that's actually a box of uh, Danish cookies, or Danish, Danish, like how do you call people from Denmark, Danish or Danish? Anyway, it, you know those like little buttery cookies with some sugar on the top, and like some of them have sugar, some don't, and they're like, there's like a square one, a rectangle one, like a twirly one, and yeah, it's a, like the Danish cookies, so that's a box of that. <laughs> and obviously, it, it was there for a while because I was no longer eating those Danish cookies when I was doing my, my stuff at the gym, so yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah. Uh, shit, I need more alcohol to talk about this, but... Uh, you see the little thingy on the bottom right? It's a bottle of Coke. And I cut the top off with scissors and burned it with a lighter so that it, the edges are, are not sharp anymore. And I was using that as a pee bottle. And I, I don't think I ever talked about that, but yeah... Uh, my thought process was basically like, um, you know, if I'm watching live television and I need to pee, well, I can just pee in that bottle and throw it in the, in the toilet later, you know, it's like, uh, instead of skipping or, anyway, uh, you know, back then you couldn't like actually pause live TV like you can do now with those modern machines, you know, uh, so that's what that was and I think you can see that bottle in a lot of the videos, so that's actually a pee bottle. 
yeah. Anyway. Um, uh, well, the omelette is. I probably. Okay, uh, that's another thing. Uh, I I never actually stored metal utensils in the toaster. Uh, that spoon actually fell in there at some point, but it's an accident. I never actually, yeah. At least I don't think I did. I I might have put things on the toaster, but not like inside like that. That's that's an accident. Holy fuck. Um. Oh. Ah. Yeah, that me. <sighs> yeah, I think that's when my throat was starting to hurt. Like I'm telling you, it's really bad. Like the way your throat burns uh, in a fire like that. Like like I said, I can't even imagine what it would be like to be inside a burning building. If just like a minute and a half of a burning pot can hurt your throat like that. <sighs> wow. Uh, I'm gonna open the window sometime. Or, wait a sec. Uh. Open the windows. <sighs> Fuck. Oh man, my throat is burning. Yep. Oh, I inhaled this. It's just burning. What the? Uh, shit. Oh man, what the hell? What the? F How the? F huh. I just saw a little thing that's a blast from the past. Oh, wait, uh, let's see if I can put it. Okay, wait. Uh, okay, uh, you see this little gray rectangle at the just to the right of the of the faucet of well, the little thingy there. Um, there's like a gray rectangle. That's actually a puma stone to sharpen knives. You know, <laughs> I haven't seen that one in a while, but yeah, that's what it is. How the fuck did this happen? It's just, just fucking oil, man. Mm. Oh boy. Ah, wait a minute. Okay, fuck that. Look, uh, basically, when you have the omelet done, you have the pot and some oil in there, and I think my hand was shaking. I was still like, I was still really scared. Uh, like by what just happened, I think my voice was shaking. I, I was like, I was, I was trembling. I was just really, really traumatized at that moment. You preheat it, and then you uh, drop the omelet in, and that's it. Okay, so look, I, I'm gonna have to shut this down now because holy shit. Okay, goodbye, guys. All right. Uh. So that's it. I just spent uh, more than 40 minutes watching a 15 minute video. Uh, so I talked a little bit much, sorry about that, but yeah. Uh, so that's that. Um, I hope you guys like that. Um, I mean, it was a little bit weird for me, but <laughs> uh, nothing alcohol can't, uh, can help with. Um, anyway, so um, yeah, uh, it's now Friday. Uh, November 12th I wonder if that preacher guy is still there downtown <laughs> oh my god screaming Jesus at everybody anyway so um yeah uh, so if you guys well, can think of um, another video you'd like me to to do this with uh, just let me know I mean I, I thought you know I was thinking of doing them all but there's like a billion of them so I'm not really sure which one to do next but um yeah, so if you if you enjoyed this, just let me know if you want me to do another one, and uh, we can have some fun. And hopefully, I won't uh, drink too much. But uh, uh, this this wasn't easy to get through. Oh my god! Anyway, so I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.